already looking around this event, I've seen a few tools which have impressed me, but actually, if you're gonna ask me which one's my favorite, bearing in mind I haven't seen them all yet, I've gotta say that this tool we're just about to show you is awesome. An overused word, but I think it is awesome. Don't point it at me, by the way. <laughs> this is, I mean, we've all seen the, the gas nailers that do, do this kind of fixing, but this is something else, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, I mean, the new BX3 tool, as you quietly say, it's the same kind of system and the way of working as what we with the gas tools, okay? So you've got concrete-based materials and steel-based materials. But instead of having a gas can in the back of the tool, yeah. we're now completely working on battery. Right, okay? which is a bit of a holy grail because I know people have been looking to do that for ages, yep. haven't they? Yep. Everybody wants to move away from gas because of the maintenance and having to fill it and all the rest of it. Absolutely. Towards that, so how have you achieved that? So basically on this tool, this one works on the battery, which enables this motor in here to wind on tension into two springs. This means that you've, once you've wound those on, these springs will compress and push that nail into the base material. Now, is there a difference? You, you say, it's as, is it as powerful as a gas nailer or not? You're looking around the similar kind of power. It's designed to do the same kind of job. The way that in which it actually drives the nail is, is crucial to the different base materials. Okay. So if we're working with concrete, for instance, yeah. really one of the things we want to try and do is reduce the sprawling that we create when the nail is going into the base material. Yeah, because it's going in so fast, it sometimes Absolutely. pops out. Gas, Especially gas. if you go close to the edge. Yeah, yeah, correct. So this is more of a push than a punch that we see with the gas. So you get a nice smooth driving and that will actually reduce the sprawling. So the, the actual quality of fixes that you get with this particular tool tends to be higher than the gas tools. The stick rate is higher. Is it? Yeah. So when you say the stick rate, in other words, a pull out. Test. So actually the number of fixings you get in consistent fixings that are, yeah. are working every single time is higher with this tool than what you saw with the gas. Yeah. All right, well, I think there's only one thing to do with this now, and that's give it a go, isn't it? Shall Absolutely. I do it, or are you going to do it? Let's, let's give it a go. Okay. I think there's a certain amount of health and safety involved Correct. here before I start. I feel kind of disconnected from the world with all this on. <laughs> I didn't hear it go off. <laughs> It's very quiet. It's obviously done the job and it's a lot quieter than I thought, but obviously you've still got to wear that ear protection. But there's just a few little things here. It's got a safety mechanism whereby if it's compressed down, it switches off automatically. And I think it's got a few other features, but actually we've got the guy that designed it here who's going to run us through a few of those details actually, because I'll be interested to know about the development of this tool, but also about the reliability, because I think that's key. This is powered by a, a 22 volt battery, yeah. which is our platform, so it also works okay, in, in other tools. And uh, this motor basically turns a spindle, which with the belt compresses two uh, springs. And okay. these, these two springs, are carrying the energy we let go on the piston. So for compressing one of the springs, you would need 400 kilograms. Blimey, really? So, and we have two of the springs inside and the tool is doing that in a one per second cycle. Huh? Yeah, it's quite so, a... so, so you're telling me there's 800 kilos of compressed, we is are, that right? Yeah, this is what we're basically winding with yeah. this motor in, so in so one you're cycle. You're yeah? squeezing 800 kilos of false pressure. Yes. There. And because it's going they're both going against each other. It's not pulling from anywhere, is it? No, that's correct. It's yeah. pretty clever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up here for thinking. <laughs> yes. Are you an engineer? Um, uh, yes, I'm both business and, and engineer. Blimey. Yes. Okay, I've actually been to your research and development uh, uh, right. and they told me when I went there in Sean in Liechtenstein, that I wasn't allowed to talk about anything I saw or take any photographs and uh, I had to sign a piece of paper, yeah? Okay. So, okay, so how fast can this go? In, you say that, that rewinds that spring. Yeah, yeah. so the, actually the frequency is, is a, um, one shot per second, so it is goes it? in a one second cycle. Yeah, which is fast enough for anybody, quite honestly. If you're doing more than one shot per second, you need to slow down a bit. Right, let's give it a go then, yeah? I can put this on. Safe? Yeah. Yes.
I should have really put those in a straight line. But anyway, you get the idea of how fast one shot per second, and quite honestly, you're never gonna work that fast. So thanks very much, Axel, that's good. Yes, thanks. But before you go, I, I need to give uh, credit to the right people. So it was not me, myself, developing that tool that is a big team of uh, smart people that work very hard. Oh, okay, so I picked him up a little bit too much. Basically, there's a whole load of people behind you right. doing the work. Absolutely, yes. Right. Always the way. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's just a brief look at another Hilti product. And if you like what you see, don't forget to give us a like because the videos that get the most likes are the ones we're going to review in depth. But of course, if you want to look at any of these Hilti tools yourself, Hilti have got over 300 of these vans going around the UK, so there's bound to be a guy near you that can demonstrate the tool to you and let you try it hands on. And I always think you can take my word for it, but the best thing is if you try it yourself. And of course, if some people say they're expensive, but Hilti always say that in cost in life, their tools are actually cheaper, but if it's a bit rich for you, if you don't want to fork out for some of these large machines, don't forget you can also hire them because a lot of hire companies buy Hilti because of their service and their reliability. So I'm Roger Bisbee. Thanks very much for watching and come back soon.